Crenshaw District in South LA, known to many as the Harlem of Los Angeles. Yo, Q, watch out, mother... Famous for the movie Boys in the Hood and home to some iconic names. But one name rings louder in these streets than others. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey. And Nip Hussle. Much louder. I just knew that he was somebody special. But he was always smart, speaking about economic development and things that um, ain't really like the usual conversation where we come from. He can move in an intellectual way, articulate himself in his music, represent his culture, and still elevate his community. Rapper Nipsey Hussle. Real name, Ermius Oscardone, was gunned down on these very streets he called his own in March 2019. Shot by an acquaintance after they exchanged words. But an outpouring of grief after the murder of a rising music star, rapper Nipsey Hussle. The prince of South L.A., the king of the streets. A suspect is now in custody. 29-year-old Eric Holder. Pull up in motor case. A life cut short, the father of two on the verge of superstardom with hits Hustle and motivate. like Hustle and Motivate. I'm the type that's gonna go get it. No kidding. And Victory Lap. His sound, Regal. His lyrics, undeniably raw. Rapping about the trappings of gang life and the realities of growing up in Crenshaw. Hustle was a hometown hero. As the 33-year-old got richer and more famous, he didn't leave his neighborhood behind. Instead, he invested in it, opening businesses like the Marathon Clothing Store he was killed right in front of. For me to watch the ones that really could make a difference die, that's what hurts. Herman Cowboy Douglas was the manager of the Marathon Clothing Store and an eyewitness to the aftermath of Nipsey's murder. The day that Nipsey Hussle was killed, I understand you were there. Yes. How do you remember it? It replays in my mind constantly every day. So I said, man, come in the back. And I take him to the storeroom and I show him all his shirts. I got them all lined up. And he's like, wow, you know? And I was like, man, you finally made it. And I shook his hand. Here it is almost an hour later, less than that, he's gone. Cowboy was one of the first witnesses to testify at the trial of Eric Holder, the man accused of Nipsey's murder. The courtroom, just six miles from Crenshaw, feels like a world away. Today, closing arguments began, more than three years after the rapper died. But here we are now, to meet out justice for what happened that day. Many of those who knew Nipsey best have largely avoided the courthouse, skeptical whether any real justice can be found, and instead focused on continuing his work in Crenshaw. First off, they took too long with the trial. They convict us in, in two weeks out here. We need our own court system that we can get the justice that we might want to see. Whatever the courts decide, it is what it is. But from a street standpoint, I'm probably not going to like it, whether he get 25 years to life or not. Cowboy took the witness stand as a service to his slain friend, sending a message to his alleged killer. So I sat there and I looked at him. I stared him down. You he know, looked back at you? He looked for a second and he cut. Just to look at the coward that he is. I really wanted to jump over there and choke him out, you know? And I thought about it. I thought about my kids. I thought about my businesses. And I said, I'm not going to let this one guy ruin two lives. For more than two weeks, prosecutors have argued that Eric Holder Jr., an acquaintance of Nipsey's, planned to shoot and kill him after the two got into a verbal confrontation over allegations that Holder was a snitch. There's a range of consequences for people who snitch. But no gang member wants to be considered a snitch. Both Nipsey and Holder belonged to the same gang, the Rolling Sixties of the Crips. But in the last years of his life, Nipsey had worked to stop the violence and broker peace between rival gangs. Holder's defense lawyers not denying that he killed the rapper, you can see both guys. but saying it was a crime of passion, not premeditation, and arguing that the charges including first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder are excessive. He was so enraged and triggered by this emotional response that he acted without premeditating. Holder has pleaded not guilty. In a statement to ABC News, his attorney saying Holder has always been willing to accept responsibility for the charge of voluntary manslaughter for the life he took. For Cowboy, testifying wasn't so much about pointing fingers as it was about setting the record straight. I need the world to know that Nipsey never called the man a snitch. That was my main focus. Do you have any regrets from that day, the day that Nipsey was shot? Oh, yeah. I, I regret that I left his side. I regret that I just left his side. The irony of Nipsey being shot outside his clothing store is not lost on Cowboy. 
Not too long ago, the two and Nip's brother Sam were slinging t-shirts and CDs right across the corner to make a buck. Eventually bought the parking lot. Eventually rented one store, then eventually rented the next store, then the next store, then eventually bought the whole uh, shopping center. Invest in some assets. Even at a young age, Nipsey stood out. He was just 20 in this video with Hard Knock TV. So you're trying to, you're trying to get land. Exactly, homie. A real asset. Take care of my people. Nipsey became the poster boy for buying back the block naming his Marathon clothing store after his motto that it turned to gospel in South L.A. The marathon continues. Nipsey was a giant in the community. L.A. City Councilman Marquise Harris Dawson worked with Nipsey on projects like Destination Crenshaw, a 1.3 mile long public works project dedicated to art and the community, now well under construction. Nipsey was very clear, like if you want to hear the stories that I'm talking about and you want to consume the culture that I'm talking about, you got to come to the place where it happens. You got to spend money here. We want you to eat here. We want you to hang out here so that our economy benefits from the products that we're creating. Nipsey's message spreading across rival neighborhoods and gang lines, an imprint few had seen since Tupac. How much or what? Latanya Ward is from neighboring Baldwin oh, Village, okay. AKA the, the Jungles. Okay. It's a five minute drive from Slauson and Crenshaw, but it's blood territory. Bloods and Crips don't get along in general, but I'm especially ones that are your neighbors. But after Nipsey's death in 2019, Latanya organized a peace march in Crenshaw, inviting local gangs from all over Los Angeles. Why was it important for you to put that march together? To make what happened to him not happen again, or, or um, at least to attempt. You know, and people talk about, oh, it's never going to end. But who, like, why wouldn't I try? Who wouldn't try if they think it's a chance? All different These days, Latanya organizes healing circles for gang members and those affected by gun violence. How did Nipsey's death change you personally? I guess more inspiration. People's energy is stronger in death. You think about your own life. It, it just, it lit a fire under me. That keeps her focused on her work and not the verdict awaiting Nipsey's alleged killer. It's a loss either way. I still feel a loss, a void of him. So whatever happens from the trial don't really suffice. They called him neighborhood Nip. The fate of Nipsey's killer now in the hands of a jury. Holder visibly bruised with staples in his head as he was ushered from court today after being beaten up by inmates with a razor earlier this week. This situation with Nipsey and the other brother, we lost on both ends. They still black. So I really don't care about who did what, when, where, and why. All I know is that there's two families suffering with an entire community around the world. Nipsey's friend Cowboy called by the defense to testify one more time yesterday. But he and the rest of Crenshaw remained focused on Nipsey. And finishing the work, he began. I lived my dreams through Nipsey. Through Nip's death, he saved a lot of lives. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.